Hey everybody, how are you doing? My name is Valence, and I want to welcome you to another new video. Believe it or not, it is summer and I am publishing videos like crazy. Uh, this time we're actually going back into Day Z. So you guys remember last year, uh, if you've been following me for that long, that uh, we were pretty big into Z Day Z when it originally came out in May. Uh, well, it's been about a year since we've had a solid version of Day Z and uh, something that's playable that is and I figured I'd go ahead and talk about another new mod that's actually been really popular in recent times and I went ahead last night and checked it out myself so a little bit of free time I was playing solo so none of this is team play which is why you have a lot of kinda meh footage um, however I want to go ahead and give you a first impressions video on my feelings for Daisy Breaking Point. Uh, Daisy has, you know, been a really cool piece. I played it for hundreds of hours last year. Uh, I think Raptor tracked like something like 252 hours or something like that. It was ridiculous. Um, and had a lot of good time with it. Made a ton of videos out of it and plenty of live streams with it. Uh, and I started to get back into it this this summer after I got out of class uh, about two two three weeks ago. And had a good time doing so, but uh, it felt a little stale. I mean, you know, there's there's the guns, and then there's a couple other things, and that's really it. And it's not because of the mechanics, it's not because of uh, the way the world works, but rather the kind of lack of detailed updates we'd seen to DayZ. Now I know that Dean and uh, his crew are working very hard to get standalone out, which is fully respectable, but while we're waiting, you know, what what's become of the original? Well... That's where Breaking Point comes in. So what Breaking Point does is it adds over 600 more weapons uh, with 100 more hand guns, something like 300 more rifles. Uh, there's some uh, over 20 lootable skins to find, tons of land, air, and sea vehicles added uh, with more in-game vehicles. Uh, so there's Blackhawks. You'll see one in this clip, actually. Um, there's more loot spawns, heli crashes, tons of new zombie models. And the big thing is sounds. Um, there's sounds in this one. And the sounds have been updated drastically uh, to, to great effect, too. I mean, they work very well. Uh, you'll hear some of them while we're playing, but there's new zombie sounds, which are very evident. Also, your gear actually changes based on what gear you wear. You see I'm in a different outfit right now. And there's tons of outfits to find. So it really, really adds a lot to it. It's really cool. It's not more forgiving, but rather adds a lot more into it. So you kind of don't know what to expect. Now, uh, there's also really cool stuff like the power grid. You can turn off power, and there's been added street lamps and stuff, so you can see at night, but that can be turned off. Um, there's sound effects for everything. The hatchets are redone. The, most of the guns are redone. I mean, it, it sounds a lot better. Um, new maps. There's also custom towns that were added, military blockades. You'll see, actually, an addition of a freight train and a giant roadblock of people that were trying to get out of Cherno here in a minute. Uh, very impressive. Uh, there's also fuel. Uh, so fuel, so now you can actually land your vehicle in a gas station and it'll refuel it. Um, so it's really just a combination of what we see in Wasteland and then Daisy, uh, which are two of the most popular mods for Arma 2 and Arma 3. Um, but it's it's really awesome, and the the custom vehicles are great. There's Humvees that look like something out of Mad Max, and a lot of a lot of effort have been uh, put uh, has been put into this. I mean, you have load you can load gear into vehicles, uh, make roadblocks yourself. There's base building elements in it, and it's just it's really cool uh, seeing what you're able to do. So overall, I mean, it looks like Breaking Point's a very impressive package. No, well. Last night I hopped into it, and I wanted to see how different it actually was. And for me, Breaking Point definitely could revive my interest in DayZ. Uh, you see here, there's the blockade. Uh, with the whole freight train, the freight train's actually loaded with, like, windshield glass and stuff, which is really cool. Um, it could definitely refresh my interest in DayZ. Uh, however, there's still the problems with DayZ that you kind of come to expect. Um, other players... Uh, you'll see it to the end of this clip. That, that's what really got me last night. I had a great time with it. I really enjoyed the taser. You have a taser now. It's the uh, X-26. or 26, And uh, you can tase people, which is so much fun. So, like, what I would do, I don't have any clips of it, unfortunately, for this. But I, I did do it a couple times last night. Regrettably, not on camera. But uh, I was actually able to tase somebody. Uh, no problem. Just, hey, tase loot them you can actually loot their gear and then uh leave them for the zombies or something now the taste doesn't last very long but it was so much fun uh i got a kick out of it so it was really enjoyable um 
but the the clothing too you see that i have a new piece of clothing right here that i was able to loot out of the airfield there's tons of clothing guys uh in in cherno alone i believe i found something like eight different sets of clothing uh which is awesome and the loot respawns are not forgiving and there's not by any means there's not a ton of good loot like it's not like oh you can still get guns everywhere for example later in this video uh i picked up an ak right an ak 107 i found an ak 107 with one mag that was right after a server reset um but lee enfields and revolvers and some pretty bad handguns are very very popular in essence uh so you do have that there's vehicles as well although the spawns aren't increased which is nice um and the servers are also very populated so i think what what breaking point has done is really reinvigorate daisy uh to an update that we would have expected now if they hadn't been working on daisy standalone uh and it's it's really impressive the the guns are amazing i've still not found a gun that uh you know i've i've seen plenty of times before i mean you have the lee infield and you have stuff like that but there's the browning hp a bunch of russian weapons the sega shotgun um the sks rifle i mean there's there's plenty of good stuff and those are just a few that i found within i believe four hours of playtime. uh so it's unbelievable what you're able to do and that was just by scouting cherno and electro um now the one thing that uh this has reminded me of with daisy I've I've found a couple good servers like home servers, you know, and I've made a lot of friends and we're able to have a great time and play cooperatively, which is how I feel Daisy should be played, quite frankly, uh, during during the time we we had right, and it was it was quite enjoyable. Regrettably, however, um, that is not how Breaking Point is. The Breaking Point servers are few; they're they're very few compared to other servers. And the breaking point is relatively new. While the mod is extremely stable, it works well, handles well, and um, plays nice, right? It's filled with a bunch of idiots, uh, to be quite honest with you. Um, however, there's also some decent people in there, which is which is good. Um, for example, this guy Ace of Diamonds that you're seeing in chat right now um, was playing around with a guy at the fire station. And I actually ended up killing him uh, over at the Cherno grocery store. Um, but this Poi Poi guy was freaking out because he thought he was going to get sniped by Ace of Diamonds, who had like a pistol or something. Um, and I just, t quite frankly, based on the way they were going about it <laughs> and joking around and being little five year olds, um, you know, you don't trust those people in Daisy. So I went ahead and I just I sniped the first person I saw. Uh, he had yelled friendly and got all mad afterwards, you know, but that's unfortunately how it works. The big thing in this mod, too, like, I, I always, like, for example, me, unless I'm with a group of people, when we make the collective decision to cap somebody, uh, I always yell friendly. Friendly, friendly, and if I don't get a response within the first three or four yells, bang. Uh, that's simple. So, who knows? But, uh, I just, yeah, I just got that guy with a nice Lee Enfield shot. Love the Lee Enfield. It's, it's so nice as a starting weapon, which is one of the things you'll find in Cherno. Um, but Breaking Point is definitely a reinvigoration of Daisy for me personally, and I'm starting to get all the guys back into it as well. So it's it's quite enjoyable. Uh, overall, I'm, I'm very impressed with the mod. I mean, it's a mod of a mod, basically, but I think it's a very well done one that changes a lot, which is good. Uh, this, is, this is where I get that guy. Uh, it's good, you know, and I'm happy to... Uh, I'm happy to see that it's there and it's stable. The big thing is it's stable. There were a ton of mods, uh, such as Daisy 2017, that had a very, very difficult time stabilizing, and it was a real problem. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I can understand that things are built up, but at the same time, it's also like, hey, we we like something that's playable and not, you know, hey, or I don't know what I'm playing. Da -da 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 -da. So. It's kind of a big thing with uh, this mod. Excuse me. Uh, this part was actually really interesting, and this this showcases another thing that I enjoy, which is the vehicles. Um, there was this group of guys, this Maxwell House. There, there's a group of guys who obviously couldn't spell because they couldn't spell Christmas. They couldn't spell a symbol. They were like Team Christmas or Team Holiday Assembly, and I was like, uh, sorry. Um, but just a group of a holes, to be honest with you who had found a chopper they were flying around it was a black hawk i believe based on what i could see with a door gun they parked it on top of the hospital electro and said come at us bro 
Um, so it was, I mean, I, I shot at him a few times with the Lee infield just for the sake of trying, you know, maybe getting a lucky shot on camera, but uh, I did not. I've only sniped two guys out of helicopters before, and both of them were on a live stream that uh, I was not hosting, which was very regrettable. But hey, you never know. Um, anyway, though, that's a preview of a Blackhawk, and that's one of the new vehicles. I've also seen a kind of Mad Max style Humvee. That was actually quite awesome to see. I, I enjoyed it very much. And uh, there's there's plenty of cool stuff in this mod that really makes it so impressive. Um, with the new zombie animations and stuff, too, that have been added, they handle a lot better. Uh, and you definitely get a kick out of a few things. I mean, so, like I said, Breaking Point overall, I think, is a good addition for Daisy players who are looking for a little more kind of meat to their content. They, they want a little bit more out of it. And I think that's something that's fairly reasonable to uh, ask about, especially to today, rather. Um, because while we have had Daisy for a while, um, the big thing is content update, right? Uh, and we haven't had one, and that's totally okay, because I know Rocket and uh, the other Daisy devs are working on Daisy Standalone with the Arma 3 client, and that's totally fine. Uh, I'm really excited to see what they do with that. But it's awesome to see people still working on Daisy as a mod itself, which, hey, I'm all for. Um, so anyway, it's Daisy breaking point, guys. Uh, my first impressions, I mean, like I said, pretty good. Uh, I enjoy it. I'm going to be playing it more, and I will be streaming it. So feel free to check out the live stream and everything. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys then. Uh, if you're looking for a mod, Daisy Breaking Point, uh, regrettably, is not with Daisy Commander. It is on Zombie Infection, or excuse me, thezombieinfection.com. You need to install a Microsoft.NET framework, uh, a 45 framework really easy install and then you're also going to have to install um, the exe itself uh, the nice thing about the exe is it plays exactly like daisy commander it'll install an update the way daisy commander does and it handles quite well so it works and there's nothing that uh, really kind of takes it aback the one thing that I will say I do not enjoy about this mod, um, besides the idiots, I mean, because let's be honest, you get that anywhere in DayZ, uh, the one thing I really don't enjoy about this mod is the fact that side chat's enabled. Uh, I have yet to play on a server where chat, side chat is disabled. I hate it. I want it gone. Um, basically, what side chat does is just allows people to laugh and troll and complain and moan in the world of DayZ, which, quite frankly, I never enjoyed. Um, Side chat was not one of my things. I always hated it being in Daisy specifically. If it's something like Wasteland or whatever, all right. Um, no, not even all right by me. But I just don't like the fact that side chat has such a giant presence. Uh, and everyone uses it all the time. Uh, for example, that guy Ace of Diamonds I killed started bitching money and complaining. Um, saying, oh, it was harmless. No, no, no. After I shot him and he just kept going on and on and on. And it was it was annoying. Uh, and then this this Team Holiday crap. Look, Team Holiday Assembly. He doesn't even know how to spell assemble. Come on, give me a break. Um, and they're just you know calling people out and being douche nozzles, and that's exactly what was happening. Uh, so it, it's annoying to have that. To be quite frank with you guys, um, just that's me as a player though. So anyway, uh, that's Daisy Breaking Point, guys. If you're looking for a big thing with Daisy, definitely check out Breaking Point. I think it's a very worthwhile download. Uh, it's very quick too. Uh, it's just reminiscent of the old Daisy days where you, it takes a while to load into the servers because they're fairly new. As far as I know, Breaking Point's only a couple months old, if that. Uh, but definitely worth a try. And if you guys do give it a try or play Breaking Point, tell me what you think of it uh, in the comments below. I would definitely appreciate getting some feedback from you guys and seeing what you enjoy. So. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, this is another just kind of first impressions video on Breaking Point. I'll be putting out some clips of it this year. So, or this year, this summer, rather. Well, I guess this year, too. Um, so definitely check it out. And if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to uh, like it, of course. Also, toss me a comment. Tell me what you thought of my impressions or if you have impressions yourself you'd like to share. And uh, also, if you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do videos almost every day. I try to, at least. And also live streams every Tuesday, Thursday. Uh, or excuse me, every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from as 9 p.m. Eastern Standard to uh, around 2 a.m. Kind of depends. And I throw some in between. Um, but anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. And uh, maybe we'll see you in Breaking Point. See you, everybody. Have a good day.